That was a dog fight. Steep ups. And you're going past 12,000 every time you go up. So it's like four times as hard. I haven't seen anybody for the last few days. I've been solo for the last three days, four days maybe. This is a perfect example of why you never expect anything to be a gimme day in the mountains. While this was the most beautiful morning I experienced on the CT, it was also extremely cold and an indication of what I was to come the further I got into the high country. I'm gonna be camping at about 12,000 some feet. It was cold last night at frickin' under 10,000 feet, so I don't know how tomorrow, tonight's gonna be. I mean, we'll get through it. Today's climb peaked out at about 12,600 feet, which meant I had to be extremely cognizant of surrounding thunderstorms. Got a lot of clouds coming up right now. Par for the course. We're gonna get wet. The rest of the day consisted of a constant uphill journey and I couldn't quite figure out where the heck we were supposed to peek out at. I think we gotta go there, maybe then up through that saddle. All day today, I'm like, okay, there's gonna be a climb, 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 there's gonna be a climb. And it hasn't hit yet. Finally, the bulk of the climb hit, and I could feel the high altitude getting to me. That was a dog fight been 22 23 miles started all the way snaking through and ascended all day all day hell yeah I made camp early that night with the intention of getting up early in hopes to make the shuttle into Lake City the next day. It was a beautiful morning but the climbs were getting in my way and slowing my progress towards the 1230 shuttle into Lake City. I slowly began to realize I probably wasn't going to make the shuttle and I might also get stormed on. Now those clouds look like it's gonna rain. Another f of a climb, Continental Divide. That is pretty, pretty cool. Steep ups and you're going past 12,000 every time you go up. So it's like four times as hard. Don't wish it to be easy, just wish to be stronger. By this time, I realized that the tough terrain would stop me from getting to the shuttle in time. So I would have to figure out a different solution. This is a perfect example of why you never expect anything to be a gimme day in the mountains. One mi I'm less than one mile from the trailhead to get hitched out. <laughs> Thankfully, there was trail magic at the trailhead, so I could sit, chill, and figure out what my next plan was. The hitch into Lake City took all but 20 minutes, and I finally got to shower after 11 days on trail. Wow. I look rough. Okay, found my first blister. I'm gonna sterilize my knife. I am gonna pop it and put some leuco tape over it with some antibiotic. 
Oh, right in my face. Hey, it's been a great day here in Lake City. I got some disinfectant and some lotion for my legs. Uh, the lotion has been really cut a lot of the itching out, which has been great. Uh, the disinfectant, I did my sleeping bag and I washed everything in the sink. It's as much as I do not want to leave town, I know that I have to, because I will get too comfortable here. We got to head out today. It's just gotta happen. It was back in 2019 where I learned this concept from a thru-hike veteran named Salty Dog. He recounted tale after tale of people quitting when they got into town and started to be too comfortable. I was talking to another guy that has spent like a couple, two days, three days here, and he's like, yeah, I don't really want to go back. Okay, resupply, good hiker box, what do you roll? The other thing I knew about leaving town was that I was going to have to carry 120 miles worth of food over the most difficult terrain on the Colorado Trail yet, the San Juan Mountains. Just got some energy bars from those hunters. And now we're gonna camp somewhere up in here. Hey, this is the site. I actually really like it. It's a, obviously not an established, but it looks like someone's been here before. It's nice and flat. Got some wind breaks with trees. Hopefully that also cuts down on condensation. I'm still trying to figure this whole condensation game out, but pretty good sunrise, sunset here. I'm pretty pumped about the spot. I went to bed that night in anticipation of summiting the Colorado Trail's highest point at nearly 13,300 feet in the morning. Oh, shit. Never going below 12,000 feet. I have to have a run in with some sheep dogs. Never would have thought that I would have got a thunderstorm at midnight last night. 